Make me tech. Hi, I'm Melanie. And I'm short. You've got to say your name. Say your name. I'm Angela. We're doing a series called Make Me Tech, encouraging people to get out there and vote. Oh, is that what we're doing? Yes, <laughs> we've discussed this. In... <laughs> I know exactly what to do. Hey, everybody, get down to vote. What are you doing? You look terrifying. This is no, we're not doing this. Where did you even get this? Found it. So voting is pretty interesting, isn't it? No, it isn't. It's boring. I don't want to vote. Okay, look, it is interesting. Uh, come on, I'll, I'll show you. Okay. Ding. No. So this is Victoria Woodman, an academic in politics at the University of Auckland. Who came up with voting? As far as we can tell, about 500 BC or thereabouts, we know that the Athenians started practicing democracy as their way of ruling, and other Greek city-states thought, oh, that, that seems like a pretty good idea. We might, we might do a bit of that as well. well. What were the first New Zealand elections like? Our first real national elections took place in 1853. Aucklanders were, by all accounts, the worst behaved electoral participants. Woohoo! Election day, baby! <laughs> this is me with my votes. Show me your ballot box. There was drinking. Oh, how'd you do? And I don't just mean a little bit of drinking and having a good time, I mean polling places were held in pubs. If you were going to vote, as long as you could put your hand up, you could make that vote. You didn't have to be sober. I don't know if you're drunk enough to vote. Let's have a look. <laughs> I am everything. Boop, 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 off the charts. <laughs> Let's go into the voting booth. There was one particular Auckland candidate getting what was called a hogshead of rum, which I found out is about 60 gallons, rolling it into the street, saying, hey, you guys are voters jump in my rum barrel, then go and vote for me. So you're not allowed to do that today, are you? No, we changed the rules after some particularly bad, corrupt um, and very controversial behaviour. So like, the first voting was like Greece and then like New Zealand voting was more like a sort of toga party, if you will. Oh man, what a great toga party. We for the bubbles, the foam at. It's often foam at these things. Who wasn't allowed to vote in, in those first elections? All women. Where are the ladies at? They're not allowed to vote, so probably at home. <laughs> I'm fine. Women got the right to vote in New Zealand formally in 1893. We were the first self-governing territory to do it in the world. We were beaten by the state of Wyoming. It's good. I mean, good on them, but mm. we would like to be first. I just found 10 bucks. <laughs> do you see who's on that 10 bucks? It's a woman. Kate Shepard. She fought for your right to vote, and if you're not going to vote, I don't think you should be allowed to use the $10 note, actually. I'm just going <clears> to... <throat> I'm just going to take that. Are you going to give me two fives? Effectively, the vast majority of the country was not allowed to vote. So today, if you're a young person, you'd only be able to vote if you're a guy who had a, a stuff article written about you because you bought a house in 2017. That's right. Yep. When did New Zealand start um, broadcasting Parliament on radio? We had a radio chamber um, designated in Parliament from the 1930s and we'd broadcast most of the proceedings of Parliament. They were usually really long and very detailed policy statements. I want to assure the, um, the Honourable Member for Wellington... When did the current voting system come in? So if you're voting in public, everybody knows what you're doing. So what we did is we adopted a, a secret ballot in 1870 in the general seats, and we said you go into a booth and you make your mark that way. So as you can see, the history of voting in New Zealand is actually really interesting. Yeah, I'm surprised. And now we have an actual proper fair democracy, so that's pretty, pretty lit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is my, this is my jam. <laughs> Woo! Good time, dude, yeah!